Hi, I welcome you to this learning session on IFRS for SMEs. We are going to have a discussion on property plan and equipment. So this is basically a second part. Um, I would recommend people to go and watch the first part to make the best use of his second part. Let's move to the learning outcome statement. After completing this session, you will ha have an understanding about the following four areas relating to property plan and equipment. The first is the subsequent measurement. We discussed about the initial measurement, how we can initially measure property plan and equipment. Here, we will, we will discuss about the subsequent measurement of the property plan and equipment. The second part, we will have a discussion on the depreciation policy. Because there is no separate section for depreciation, it is included within section 17 of the IFRS for SMEs. Then we will have a discussion on uh, the review of the re residual life and or, or the useful life. Because we do estimate the uh, useful life, also the estimate uh, the residual value, because on this basis we compute the, de the depreciation expense. So we're gonna have a discussion on, uh, on the criteria for the review of, of these items. Then we're gonna have an understanding on the component depreciation, because this is very much um, uh, included in IES uh, 16 as well. So we're going to learn what's there in the IFRS for SMEs. And after that, we're going to move on to the differences between the IFRS for SMEs and IAS 16. So let's move on and understand the first part. Subsequent measurement. Under the IFRS for SMEs, an entity must, must measure all items of PPE after initial recognition at cost less depreciation. Okay. Sorry for my drawing. Here they only talk about cost method. There is no there is no revaluation model. There is no revaluation model. As you may know that when we are reading our IFRS normal, that is full IFRS, there is another method that is called revaluation model where we can revalue an asset or specifically, specifically PPNE to its fair value on that particular date and we can treat the fair value on that particular date as a carrying amount and depreciate over the period of time uh, and may require a revaluation if uh, the fair value differs materially from the carrying amount. But here under the IFRS for SME there is no concept of revaluation of uh, property plant and equipment. All the fixed assets are required to be carried out at cost. This is a very significant um, uh, differences, I would say, versus the full IFRS. So under the full IFRS, you have the liberty to carry out the uh, property plan and equipment at a revaluation model. But under the IFRS for SMEs, there is no such option given for the entity to apply any revaluation model. So this is the subsequent measurement part. Let's talk about the depreciation, all the concepts relating to depreciation provided by IFRS for SMEs. So I would like to summarize that there is no major difference between the IFRS for SMEs and the IFRS in respect of depreciation expenses. So there is no um, major difference between the IFRS for SMEs and the full IFRS. So I'll just go around and read the text. So the depreciation amount of an asset must be allocated on a systematic basis over its useful life. That's very much simple. For example, the cost is one lakh, uh, sorry, 100,000 and the useful life is uh, 10 years and the salvage value, salvage value or we can call it the residual value is nil, is uh, nil. Then in such a case, we need to allocate the depreciation expenses over 10 years and the depreciation expenses would be 100,000 divided by 10, which means 10,000 rupee dollars or any other currency per annum, which means we have made a systematic allocation based on the um, uh, useful life of the asset. So this is basically the concept of depreciation, which is both same for IFRS for SMEs and for the IFRS. So no need to worry about that. Now let's understand about the review of uh, useful life. So under IFRS for SMEs, I will say the major difference is that the review is not mandatory. Review is not mandatory until and unless there are factors 
which requires us to review which means that when you read the full IFRS we or an entity which is applying the full IFRS require to review the all the useful life or the residual value at least at the end of the reporting period but here under the IFRS for SMEs there is no such requirement there's no such requirement that the entity is required to um, review its useful life or the residual value unless and until there are factors. For example, there may be factor relating to technolo technological changes or unexpected uh, utilization of any uh, asset. Then in such a case, we may need to think about our uh, evaluation, uh, sorry, may, may need to think about the reviewing the useful life. But apart from that, there is no such um, uh, condition it is given under the IFRS for SMEs. Now component depreciation. I'll come to component depreciation and, and I'll say that there is no major difference per IS 16 which means that I'll give you an example suppose you bought an aeroplane not you an entity bought an aeroplane an aeroplane has a lot of uh, parts for example uh, one part number one part number two part number three and part number four and all of them are significant in terms of cost and they do differ or they do have a different useful life then in such a case the cost is required to be allocated in all these four areas or four components based on their proportion or based on their cost the same concept applies in IFRS for six, uh, IFRS for SMEs as well, which means that if there if there is a multiple component which have a different useful life and have a significant cost, they need to be disaggregated between um, all those uh, components to be specific. So this is a depreciation and a useful life and the component depreciation policy and the subsequent measurement part we discuss in respect of the IFRS for SMEs. If you have any query, any questions, just feel free to post on the comment section. I'll try to redress them as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks a lot.